I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis are the same person 30 years apart, and they're hell-bent on stopping one another. Wait, what? It's my review of Looper right now. In general, I love time travel movies, even though you always have to leave real-world logic at the door and accept whatever premise that's served up by the screenplay. In Looper, on top of every other mind-bending twist, we have to buy the premise that Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis are playing the same character 30 years apart, and they're sometimes in the same room. My brain hurts already. Do you know what's going to happen? You've done all this already as me? I don't want to talk about time travel. Joseph Gordon-Levitt's Joe is a looper. That's an assassin for hire in the movie's present day, which is 2044. He eliminates targets that have been transported back from 2074 when time travel has been invented but also outlawed. It's quite complicated. And the only rule is never let your target escape, even if your target is you. Bruce Willis plays the Joe of the future who returns to 2044 on a Terminator-like quest to eliminate the younger version of someone who will become enormously powerful in the future. Meanwhile, we've got Jeff Daniels acing it as a crime boss, Piper Parabo as a hooker with a heart of steel, and then halfway through the movie, there's Emily Blunt. She's playing a single mom living on a farm and dealing with a young son who has mysterious powers. There's a lot of movie in this movie. There's a little bit of Casablanca, a little bit of the aforementioned Terminator, some Blade Runner, and an enormous amount of style and energy. I'm gonna fix this! I'm gonna find it! I'm gonna kill it! Writer-director Rian Johnson establishes himself as an original talent who clearly believes storytelling must prevail. There are some curiously unresolved subplots, two characters that are more annoying than intriguing, and things do go in a strange direction in the final act. But the performances are first rate, the visuals are unique, the violence is shocking and effective. This time travel crap just fries your brain like an egg. Looper opens up so many doors I almost wish it had been made as a premium cable series instead of a self-contained feature film. There are so many big ideas and interesting questions here. It could fill 50 hours of screen time. I give it a B+. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels.